In this video, I'm going to show you how to get rid of bank transactions permanently, whether by deleting or voiding. Now, if you saw my previous video about excluding bank transactions, you'll have a little bit more of an idea as to why you'd want to exclude them only without actually deleting. So I suggest you check that one out if that's more of interest to you. In this one, we're looking at getting rid of them on a permanent basis. So first of all, if we're doing it purely from the banking screen, we can first of all exclude them or we need to first of all exclude them. So let's just say I'm going to pick this one, this Amazon one here, and I'm going to select to exclude it. Then when I go over to my excluded tab, there it is. Then I just choose it, click on batch actions, and here we have the delete button. And it will say, are you sure? this transaction will not be recoverable. And if you want to go ahead, you click yes, and it's gone. If you go, oh, 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 and it's no, and that's that. The other way to do it, and if I go into a different account, that's probably got some more. If I go into in QuickBooks, you'll see where there have been some transactions that have already been added to the ledgers and, and added into the transactions to be reconciled. You may actually have a transaction that you want to get rid of. Maybe you added it in manually yourself and you've already reconciled it. It could be a duplicate. It could just be incorrect. Whatever your reason, all you need to do, find the one you want. So let's say we don't want this one anymore. And that will open up for us the actual expense transaction that was created from the download or whether one that you created yourself. Now, if you look down here, you'll see where it says more. If you click on that more button, you have the option to void or to delete. Now, if you void it, the actual transaction stays in the accounts. It just reduces everything to zero. But if you had um, a transaction where you wanted to hang on to any attachments, there was a memo in there that you wanted to keep hold of, but you just didn't want the actual amount to affect your accounts, you could void it and it would still be there. However, if you delete, it removes the transaction completely from your ledger. But what it actually does is leave an audit trail. So it can still be found from the audit trail, but you'd have to know to go there to look for it. So this one gets rid of it completely. This one just moves it into a zero transaction. I hope that makes sense. You'll also note that this is the similar screen for bills, invoices, checks. So whichever of those screens you're in, these options still come up. So you can do them from there. Obviously, we're concentrating on specific bank transactions here, but you can do that from any of those entry screens. So just for argument's sake, we'll just avoid this one. So at the moment, we owe 228 or 22875 was paid. We click void. It's linked to others. Do you want to avoid it? Yes. Okay. And it's come out of your bank transactions because it no longer affects it. If, however, you go up to your, you probably can't see it on your screen, you go up to the um, hourglass or the magnifying glass, shall we say, that shows all the recent transactions. And if you see there, it's at zero. And that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching.